well, well, here we are again, deep in the heart of LA, where our ex-royal has snubbed football royalty. Welcome back to the Megzilla channel, aka the best channel, the sweetest smelling channel, the channel favored by Piers Morgan and Victoria Beckham. Look, here's Prince Harry just casually strolling by Brooklyn Beckham and his wife like they're, what's the word? Irrelevant. Oh wait, isn't there some kind of feud happening between the Sussexes and the Beckhams? I mean, being markled is basically like getting ghosted, but with fancier hats. So Harry and Megs got invited to the Beck's shindig, but didn't return the favor. That's like going to your friend's bridesmaid's proposal brunch, but not inviting her to your gender reveal. But in this case, the cake is worth a few million. You know, I'm trying to picture David Beckham absolutely bloody furious. It probably still looks better than my best selfie, which is several different types of depressing. Speaking of the Margold list, gosh, it's like the Game of Thrones, but with way fewer dragons and way more fascinators. Thomas Markle, Nina Capriti, Jessica Mulroney, who's next? Just imagine, if there are this many people willing to admit they were betrayed by professional BFF St. Megan, how many aren't willing to expose themselves to sugary death threats? I imagine that line would wrap around at least one of the city blocks Megan's armored SUV was pursued through on a fateful near-death night. I'm just thinking about all of the ex-friends I've got, and I'm not half the troll Megan is. I'm pretty trolly, don't worry, just ask my ex-husband. But even if I were to marry up in an extravagant way and found myself with a Wikipedia article, I can't imagine too many of my enemies would be willing to go on the record about how I never did the dishes, or that one year in the early 2010s when I was a live journal mod for Oh No They Didn't. Anyone else remember ONTD, or am I dating myself here? But on a happier note, let's talk about Harry's mood swings. He's going from bored out of his skull at a Beyonce concert. I mean, who gets bored at Beyonce? To being as giddy as a toddler at a soccer game. Priorities, I guess? A quick aside here to point out that in the photos of the Markles at the Beyonce show, the ladies are conspicuously costumed in the manner in which Queen Bey took the stage. Did anyone else notice this? It's all disco ball lady lumps, including Doria's aluminum foil blouse, which begs the question, is there a Markle Knowles group chat? And if so, who else is on it? Serena Williams, Natch, Jay-Z, Solange. And what do you suppose they talk about? We all know Beyonce keeps hot sauce in her purse, all the better to spice up that bland beige roast chicken of a friendship with Ms. Meg's legs. I can just imagine the topics, how to braid Lily's cornrows, whether or not momagers are a blessing or a curse, and how to make the most out of a perfectly respectable middle-class upbringing by falling back on others' assumptions of your social station. I used to genuinely question that there was even a friendship, but after seeing the coordinated outfits, I have to at least concede that someone on Beyonce's team is cozy with someone on Megan's. I've always wondered just how on earth a G-list celebrity on a fairly useless Canadian workplace drama managed to be casually friendly with Eugenie. How random. That would be like that one guy from Downton Abbey, the one who faked being Lady Mary's old fiancé who died on the Titanic, randomly marrying an Obama girl. You don't skip several thousand links in the chain and find yourself in rare air without some serious strategy. But that had to cost a lot of money, or else just about anyone could attempt it. Who bankrolled Meghan's social climbing, and what did it cost? I submit that Prince Andrew and a yacht had at least a little to do with it. All right, folks, that's enough royal tea for today. Stay snarky, and remember... If you're going to get Markled, at least make sure you get a good hat out of it. Thanks for watching and subscribing and sharing this with your favorite aunt who you know cackles at this garbage. See you next time.